Don't do this at home. Well guys, it is finally time for me to review the Baca from Romacraft. It's one that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. It was released last year in 2019 uh, as the first Cameroon wrapper uh, that they've worked with there at Romacraft. And uh, just a really exciting release. Everybody was really talking about it a lot. Um, some really big names gave it uh, some pretty, pretty kind words uh, early on. So I've been looking forward to it for just the longest time, but it's just been sitting in my humidor because I haven't had the opportunity to really sit down and, and dig into it. But fortunately today I have a little bit extra time. It's so difficult to get out here and do reviews in the winter time, but but man, I, this thing is just burning a hole in my humidor. I had to had to come out here and get this um, get this done. So the Baca from Romacraft, like I said, the the first uh, Cameroon wrapper from Romacraft. Uh, Skip Martin talked about this at length on an episode of Smoke Night Live uh, with the Cigar Dojo, and really just the amount of stuff that kind of went into this cigar is really quite a fascinating story. So uh, if you look at Cigar Dojo, they'll have the um, the link when you look at this cigar to um, to that interview which Skip Martin's just a great guy to listen to in the industry in general. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> this is a very dark Cameroon wrapper from the other Cameroon cigars that I've smoked, and the name Baca takes itself from a, uh, I believe it's an indigenous tribe of people in the Cameroon region. So anyways, sort of all blending together there. So let's get right down into it. Well, like I said, this does have a, um, a Cameroon wrapper. Unfortunately, the binder and fillers are entirely undisclosed, so I can't tell you a thing about them. The size is called the Bantu, which is a 4x52 short Robusto. Price-wise, uh, this is somewhere in the $9 to $12 region. Well, the appearance is just what I wanted to see. Absolutely flawless. A beautiful double cap at the top. Uh, a couple of veins in the wrapper, but I mean, everything is just just flawless. The nice, very cool looking band, the double uh, the double band that uh, Romacraft does so well. I can see that there's some sort of a graphic underneath um, the top band, probably a star or something uh, pressed into that secondary band underneath. And you can see at the foot of the cigar the blending of the different uh, tobaccos and there's a couple of darker leaves very, uh, very much towards the center of the cigar. sweet earth and hay. <clears throat> it smells phenomenal. So let's see what this thing looks like. Let's get a cut. Great pre light draw. Lots of airflow through it, but it's still a little bit on the tight side. It's kind of odd. But uh, flavor wise, uh, some raisin and a little bit of um, kind of spicy, but more uh, kind of cooking spicy. Let's get lit. All right, guys. <clears throat> Interesting start to this. The uh, immediate draw flavor is earth, actually. Still, still sticking with that pre-light draw flavor. It is a little on the sweet side. The uh, retro hail and throughout the finish, <clears throat> it's got just a bevy of different spices to it. A little bit of cooking spice, but also some black pepper that is just tickling the back of my throat right now. <clears throat> it's difficult not to cough. Um, just very heavy right off the bat. The smoke itself is nice and thick. It is pretty full, I will say, on the body side. Flavor-wise, medium to full flavor at the moment. And the draw is still, I'd say probably a medium draw, not too loose, not too tight, somewhere a, a little looser than I typically like to see. Um, and that's all I got so far. So I'll smoke it for a couple minutes and I'll check back in with you here shortly. All right, guys, I'm about 15 minutes into this thing now. Well, I gotta say that, <clears throat> that, uh, 
really back of the throat pepper flavor that it had right off the bat. Only lasted the first couple of minutes. Kind of balanced out after that. <clears throat> the body kind of, it seemed like it was more full body to me at first, but it's really lightened up almost. It, it, it was really thick and velvety right off the bat. And it, it could just be that it, there was so much of it because it is a pretty high output uh, smoked cigar. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually definitely closer to like the medium range. Maybe medium, maybe medium full, but I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Flavor wise, I got to tell you, <clears throat> it's it's pretty complex. There's there's that kind of sweetness that was with that earth flavor as well. There's a bit of a nutty flavor, something in like the almost like the cashew range. <clears throat> you know, something that's you can tell that it's nutty, but it's not like uh, it's not sweet like an almond or a, almost like salty, kind of like a like a cashew, a little bit sharper flavor to it. And, and, and sharp is almost the way that I would describe it because the, the smoke is it's almost like a, like a dry mouthfeel. I don't, if that, instead of being like creamy or, or, or velvety or something like that, I don't know. It, it, it's just a, a little bit of a, a drier feeling to it. Crisp, maybe crisp is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I've never used the word crisp to describe a cigar before, but um, it's, it's something that's a little bit different, I guess. Is uh, and, and maybe that's the, the Cameroon wrapper. I haven't smoked a whole lot of Cameroon wrapper cigars, but <clears throat> they're just sort of kind of becoming the popular thing to do. So <clears throat> it's really interesting, a little different. It's different than the, the standard Roma Craft um, kind of flavors that you get. And it is a different cigar, so that makes sense. <sighs> Although I really wish I knew what the, uh, the binder and the filler were. But I guess that would just mean that I would kind of have an idea of what to expect. And here it's just full of surprises. So that's kind of a good thing too. I'll stop rambling on and I'll check in a little while. Well, guys, <clears throat> I got one good thing and one bad thing to say. Good thing. Look at that. That ash is just beautiful. Kind of a medium gray in color but it is just held on beautifully. The bad thing is, is look at that burn. <sighs> I've actually tried to touch it up already once and touch it up on this side here and just will not correct itself. Um, actually, just after I took that last puff, you can kind of see it was starting to correct itself, had that little burn line kind of coming back down there, but man, it just started canoeing something crazy um, right there towards the middle section of the cigar. I didn't comment on it last time. It was a little uneven then, and it just kind of continued on down from there. But, um, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> so I'll try and leave it, see if maybe it corrects itself. Otherwise, it'll just be uh, something you have to touch up. So flavor-wise, not much has changed, except maybe a little more of that, that pepper from before. Although it's more front of the mouth, roof of the mouth, tip of the tongue, sort of uh, kind of a spicy pepper there more of a draw flavor now though whereas before it was definitely a finish retro hail type flavor i'm about to take this band off and then i'll smoke it down as far as i can and i'll check in one more time before i put it down all right guys we're gonna call it there let's start from the beginning shall we the beginning of this cigar had some nice rich earth, somewhat sweet earth flavors right off the draw. <clears throat> the finished flavor was a very sharp pepper flavor and that was uh, noticeable uh, through the finish and on the retrohale. <clears throat> Almost difficult to, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it's sort of back of the throat, <clears throat> difficult to take in flavors. Uh, but those faded pretty quick in the first couple of minutes and it smoothed out, balanced itself out throughout the throughout the rest of that first third. After that, there was uh, some nut flavor. There was really a lot of that nice, I mean, it was a good flavorful earth flavor that was there. Um, some nice, excuse me, um, some nice nut flavors, like I say, somewhere in the, the cashew range. Um, maybe mildly floral there in that second third as well. The final third actually, I think was the part that I enjoyed the most. Um, after that ash fell off, I was able to touch it up a little bit and that um, really seemed to balance it out a little bit better. Um, there was, 
what there was there was a little bit of return of that pepper but as a draw flavor as opposed to the finished flavor that it was in the first and second thirds and then um, almost like a nice uh, like a rich caramel flavor that was there in that final third as well so definitely the easiest uh, the easiest third to smoke was the final third and and what I got the most enjoyment out of was that that final third out of the cigar which uh, that'll be a very short um, because it's such a short cigar <clears throat> but I believe it comes in a few other sizes, so you might be able to get a longer one if you decide to give it a try. Construction-wise, the draw was just a little bit on the loose side for me, and then obviously we had some construction issues with the burn. Um, you know, appearance-wise, it was flawless, but noticing, like, even after that second third, you could see it started to canoe a little bit, and then it just kind of went from there. So after that ash fell off, I was able to touch it up, even itself out, and it was pretty pretty much fine after that. So, um, not the most perfect burning cigar, but that uh, didn't affect it a, a whole lot. Um, and again, this is just one example. You never know. Um, you know, if you smoke a lot of these, it, it might it might be different. So it might be a fluke thing, but worth mentioning. Uh, one other thing was that the wrapper did start to delam a little bit, also in that final third. So that didn't affect the smokeability of it. No air leaks or anything like that. Um, just something to note as well. So, <clears throat> a really great cigar. Um, I'm not even sure, oh, I forgot to talk about the, the body of it. It really was a, more of a medium body cigar. Um, medium to full flavored, but a medium body, and I would say medium strength as well. There was some, but not even, not even really as much as some other uh, Roma Craft cigars, really. Um, so yeah, a, a very easy to smoke cigar in that regards, you know, very middle of the board. <clears throat> pretty good cigar. Um, is it my favorite Roma Craft? I'm not sure. Um, I, I, I have to I have to admit that I was expecting to be wowed a little bit more. Um, that isn't to say that I didn't enjoy it because I did. It was a really good cigar. But uh, just maybe there was a little bit more hype than what I personally got out of at least this stick. Um, definitely recommend that you try it still. Um, because it is an excellent cigar and it's a little different than the standard fare that you might get from Roma Craft, and it definitely deserves to be in their lineup for sure. So check it out if you will, the Roma Craft, <laughs> Roma Craft, excuse me, uh, Baca, a really great addition to their lineup. Um, of course, I'm going to say that if you're looking for cigars, check out the link in the description below. It'll take you to Cigar Page. Uh, where I am a sales affiliate, so if you click that link to buy cigars, I get a little kickback, so I really appreciate it. Uh, if you are looking for cigars, go ahead and click that link below. They ship everything free and they have some of the best deals anywhere on the internet, so highly recommend you check that out. And uh, yeah, man, it is just stinking cold. It's hard to get out here and smoke during the winter time. Um, but I'm trying, I'd really love to be able to sort of, um, this is just a kind of an outbuilding that I have in my in my house and uh, it's just kind of storage space at the moment but I really love to turn it into a cigar lounge where I can get some some air circulation um, get some some permanent heat out here um, but I'm kind of curious what do you guys do during the winter time to smoke cigars because I just I don't smoke nearly as many cigars in the winter time as I do in the summer because it's just cold rainy, snowy, whatever it is, you know, I have a, a, a stand-up propane uh, patio heater on the back porch that I use sometimes. I'm just curious, what do you guys do uh, for smoking in the wintertime? Let me know. Get down in that comment section. Let me know if you've tried the uh, the Baca. Um, let me know what you do for smoking in the wintertime. Whatever else you got to say, get down there in the comment section. We'll talk to you later, and as always, happy smoking.